ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ನೂನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪಿ ಆರ್ ಹಂಪಿ ಹೋಳಿ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಗೋಕ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಲಾ ಸೊಸೈಟೀಸ್ ಗೋಕ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಬೆಳಗಾವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಅಂಬ್ರೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೆಲಿವರಿಂಗ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆಫ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಅಲ್ಜಿಬ್ರಾ Uh, we are coming to the fourth lecture of this uh, unit 3 three lectures you have seen uh, dear students in the fourth lecture uh, uh, we are having a very interesting uh, small chapter so far uh, what you learnt uh, let me revise little bit we defined we defined a linear transformation so any transformation with the uh, some vector space to one more one more vector space satisfying the condition of a alpha plus b beta is a t alpha plus b t beta uh, is uh, named as linear transformations and then we recognized we recognized every linear transformation by a matrix t and uh, by matrix a and we understood that uh both are almost uh, interchangeable in nature we can get the work done instead of uh, using t we can use a or vice versa you know with the help of a only we could uh, recognize a uh, invertible transformations so via matrix t invertible t's and uh, if at all i can square a matrix i can square uh, t here t square i can find if i can write a plus b plus c i can write t1 plus t2 plus t3 all under the subtitle of algebra of uh, linear transformations also we learnt some examples uh, of the type uh, show that t1 t2 is not equal to t2 t1 just like in matrix a b is not equal to b a so on and so forth we learnt so that uh, let us move to the uh, last part of this uh, uh, subtitle uh, which uh, i feel happy to name like this this uh, we learn what is meant by kernel of uh, a linear transformation t we define and uh, we study this uh, using some examples also uh, why are this uh, we start understanding what is the dimension of suppose the transformation is from u to v vector space then uh, we start understanding what is dimension of domain what is dimension of co domain what is the dimension of uh, we also understand that this kernel of linear transformation t itself becomes a subspace of domain so we understand that uh, this becomes a subspace also this becomes a subspace also and uh, a subspace if a, a vector space is there then it's part of that subset of u you have to consider and whatever the 10 components 10 features of vector space all features are satisfied under the same vector addition and scalar multiplication and one very important feature is zero is common for all the main space and all the subspaces that is very important if at all you want to prove that some subset is not a subspace then uh, it is a uh, even uh, you can show that zero doesn't belong to that this is also one of the criteria uh, just like uh, uh, closure property is not satisfied and so on and so forth identity is not there so we study via a uh, kernel of linear transformation dimension of u dimension of v dimension of kernel of t and uh, we try to uh, find the relation between all these two via some examples so here we go to define kernel of linear transformation usually i do examples and afterwards give the definitions but uh, here i go with the usual define define kernel of kernel of linear linear transformation say t so then the answer is let uh, t be from one vector space to one more vector space v b a linear transformation from this linear transformation 
plays a very important role in uh, computer graphics also now it is a buzzword in the film industries and so on linear transformation used uh, in many uh, notable films like bahubali and all those things via computer graphics and quite uh, lucrative jobs you one can opt so that uh, this can be a career also a linear transformation from a uh, vector space vector space u to pardon vector space u to vector space v then uh, kernel of t t is the subset of u which is equal to set of all u belonging to capital u such that t of u goes to the zero of zero of codomain v so a pictorial diagram and afterwards examples will make uh, uh, will have clarity to you so have attention here a pictorial say what i am talking is a, a vector space u here and this side a vector space v i am considering a part of space u say here which is a subset of u suppose a zero of a zero of v is here just like zero of three dimension is a zero comma zero comma zero zero of matrix is corresponding zero matrix the point is all the images of all the points of subset this i call it as kernel of t all the images will fall into merge into this zero just like many stars get merged into black hole so in astrophysics also a lot of such transformations are taking place so if at all this happens this part is known as kernel of so transformation headed by t and uh, examples always will have more more clarity so let us move to examples so before i move to examples a small question of this category may occur question can be define kernel of linear transformation t this already we defined compute kernel of t for t from three dimensional space to three dimensional space defined by a uh, projection mapping by just make z coordinate zero so that uh, whatever is there its shadow will fall on its shadow will fall on x y plane zero it should be so what is the kernel of this we have to transform and depict geometrically depict uh, or draw it uh, instead of geometrically by pictorial right because geometry has less to do with vector space now given transformation is uh, no also known as projection transformation instead of z equal 0 i can choose one of them as 0 y 0 or x 0 similar arguments will take place so if small change in that you should be able to answer or can i have y and z zero also it is x zero zero here x zero zero 
instead of falling on xy plane it starts falling on x axis so interestingly the task of this is for example if at all if i take a point 2 3 1 2 3 here then after image it will not go to 1 2 3 the z part becomes zero if at all it is 1 2 3 here its a shadow will fall like this so 1 2 0 so this will come and fall here so every point here will come and fall here three dimension figure becomes a two dimension figure just like a shadow of a object falling on the earth then if at all i take any point if at all i take u belonging to r cube which is a domain where u equal to some xyz t of u becomes a point on xy plane pardon me so we shall consider in a different fashion now you should answer me to this uh, question suppose if at all i draw this figure whatever argument i have told so third z part is becoming zero if i draw this simple question if i take them as x y z axis here and a similar here which is one is a domain and one is codomain which we are naming them as u and v here u is also same r cube and v is also three dimension space r cube we can take r square to r square we can take r cube to r square we can take any dimension to any dimension now if at all i consider all the points on z axis so what are the points on z axis for example 0 0 4 0 0 1 without uh, loss of generality 0 0 0 0 0 10 so on and so forth all the points on all the points on z axis look like 0 0 z suppose i take a transformation from any point t of 0 0 z now think and tell me what happens what is the task of this transformation keep the first two parts as it is and make the third part zero so that's why what i am doing this is uh, going to be keep the first two parts as it is first two parts i kept as it is now and make the third part also zero and that goes and merges in zero zero here so uh, any point you take on z axis any point you take on z axis that is going to whole z axis is going to have its shadow as a single point this whole z axis goes and merges in this point 0 0 0 so this entire entire z axis is known as entire z axis is known as uh kernel of t because it is a subspace of it is a subspace of uh, this u z axis becomes some part of r cube no so that z is a kernel of transformation kernel of transformation is a subspace of domain which goes and merges to 0 0 so let us write this example pictorially we have already done so that whatever you observe you write consider all the points on z axis belonging to domain that is a set of all points 0 0 z such that z is a real number then uh, according to this transformation t of x y z equal to 0 0 z implies t of 
if I take a point on Z, all the points are going to be on the zero of the right hand side, which is the domain on the zero, 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 because zero, zero remains as zero, zero, according to the transformation. Third parts, third part, uh, this is the transformation given, sorry. Zero, zero remains as XY remains as XY. This is X, this is Y, XY. Z part is becoming zero, so that therefore we claim that kernel of the given transformation is z axis note that the dimension of z axis is 1 so here we note a corollary here the answer is over here we note that kernel of transformation dimension of that is 1 because it is one dimensional only one linearly independent factor 0 0 z is enough 0 0 1 is enough to find all the points on z axis we can note that dimension of dimension of transformation is 2 because it is going to merge on xy plane okay dimension of image of image of transformation y image of transformation is 1 uh, i mean 2 because if you take any point on the in the xy plane rq plane here this becomes the image if i take different color This xy plane is image entire three dimension plane is going to fall on xy plane so this xy plane has got dimension 2 and uh, kernel has got dimension 1 v has got dimension 3 and amazing thing you observe is 2 plus 1 is 3 and becomes a theorem and it is true for any such examples. Let us note that. Interestingly, so why examples, the observations, all the observations, if they are similar, they will be bundled as a statement and it becomes a theorem. So hence, we observe that dimension of image of T is 2, dimension of codomain V is 3, hence dimension of V becomes dimension of image plus dimension of kernel which is 2 plus 1 but uh, we shall ask as a question in the next example the same whatever we observed for the same thing also you can extend a question let me extend that question here if at all it is asked you should be able to write yeah We have written here dimension of kernel of T is uh, define dimension of kernel of T we have written and depict the story we have written but apart from that you can write oh sorry apart from that you can write here you can write also prove that also prove that dimension of codomain is equal to dimension of image of t in this case it is 3 equal to 2 plus 1 plus dimension of kernel of t kernel is z axis image is xy plane 2 plus 1 equal to 3 which is rq plane v equal to rq plane so also prove that so let us uh, use this same question for the next example see so the next example generally it may be asked also show that uh, define kernel of transformation show with an example okay next question in a different way i shall ask define kernel of transformation explain explain with an example also show that so the same the whatever the previous example is there that is the answer to this question also but i'll use the matrix example now to make it more clear whatever we are talking also show that the dimension of v equal to dimension of uh, image of t plus uh, 
plus dimension of kernel of t where where t is from u to v u to v a linear transformation so let us consider solution definition already we have given definition of kernel of t already we have given so that it can be repeated now let us consider example of matrices consider u equal to let i'll write let u equal to be the vector space of all m2 cross 3 matrices of the type a b c d e f which are all of the type 2 cross 3 with the usual matrix addition as vector addition and the scalar multiplication multiplication k a type which is suppose a k a type this be a vector space let t from m2 cross 3 to m2 cross 3 be given by if i take any element of this space like a b c d e f after taking the image let the first row become zero second row remain as it is now we shall remind ourselves that just a reminder the base for this uh, u the base for this u you need six independent linear vectors so that the base for this is like 1 0 0 0 0 is the first vector 0 1 0 0 0 0 is second vector like that this one goes on moving to all the spaces remaining 0 the last vector you can guess 0 0 0 0 0 1 so hence uh, to tell that there are 1 2 and 6 vectors which are linearly independent that define this vector space hence the number of independent vectors in the base become the dimension of the vector space just like in x y z plane 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 this set which are linearly independent usually call them as e1 e2 e3 makes a base for this uh, r cube that's why 1 2 3 if i count the number of linearly independent vectors in this base they are 3 that's why the dimension of this is 3 so now dimension of u is 3 dimension of v is uh, sorry dimension of u is 6 dimension of v becomes 3 because you need only 3 vectors which are in the position in position d1 in position e1 for this uh, these 3 vectors are enough 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 1 this itself can be is a base for this so 1 2 3 3 is the dimension of this kernel t so hence now let us write kernel of this transformation now if at all i take set of all if at all i take for for kernel of t you should be wisely choosing because already zero is there here so you make the zero part here and retain this as it is just like the previous example so you should be wise enough to choose already it is zero means you can choose any three vectors here and here they are going to not become zero means you choose zero here and definitely this transformation gives this transformation becomes what is the task of this transformation you see first row becomes zero second row is kept as it is so second row is already zero so all these set of two cross three matrices whose first row is non-zero whose second row is zero is proper word is going to become kernel of transformation therefore kernel of linear transformation kernel of linear transformation is 
equal to set of all such matrices set of all such matrices such that a b c are real numbers and also note that dimension of this kernel of transformation is 3 so now everything is clear So in the previous case also, it should be dimension of u equal to dimension of here, dimension of u equal to dimension of image of t plus image of v. So here let us come to this. So we have already found the dimension of kernel of t and only to assign the, the theorem that is therefore we assume that now dimension of sorry now it is easily observable that uh, dimension of u is 6 dimension of image of t is 3 dimension of kernel of t is also 3 this altogether imply that dimension of u equal to dimension of image of t plus dimension of kernel of t so i'll end this and i have to say bye because we have completed the third unit chapter go through all the four lectures if anything is there you can always contact me and uh, with a uh, note that please try this if at all if at all you have got a transformation from set of all p3 of x what is p3 of x polynomial to polynomial to one more p3 of x where where p3 of x is set of all polynomials all polynomials of category a0 plus a1x plus a2x plus a3x square plus a4x cube set of all polynomials of degree less than or equal to 3 defined by T of A0 plus A1x plus A2x square plus A3 A0 plus A1x plus A2x square plus A3x cube is equal to A0 plus A3x cube. Now naturally A0 plus A3x cube becomes a subspace and this is a dimension of order 4 why this dimension is 4 this domain u to v dimension of base of u base of u is a naught or you can write 1 x x square x cube and dimension base of base of v can be simply 1 and x cube so here linearly independent vectors are 1, 2, 3, 4, dimension of u is 4, dimension of v is 2. What is the 0 of this uh, both u and v? 0 is a 0 polynomial, 0 of, 0 of u or v, both are same here, is equal to 0 plus 0x zero plus 0x zero square plus 0x cube. This is the big O, 0 of that. What is kernel of T? So I wanted to give homework, but I'll only explaining you. Kernel of T is, see already this part is, the x part and uh, x square part is 0. Already x part and x square part is 0. Select all such vectors 
where you have got 0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus 0x cube and according to the rule of this you are going to get 0 as a0 plus 0x because x factor will not be there here again 0x square because x square part will not be there here and as it is 0x cube you are going to get become 0 that means this part is going to merge in the 0 of that so all the polynomials of uh, which contain only x term and x square term which are subsets of u subspace of u are going to become the kernel you may have to see once or twice therefore kernel of t is a set of all polynomials of the category 0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus 0x cube such that a1, a2 are real numbers and base for this kernel will be simply x and x cube enough linearly independent vectors dimension of kernel of t becomes 2 dimension of also we observe that dimension of image of t is also 2 we observe that dimension of u is already 4 altogether we once again verified the theorem that therefore dimension of u is a dimension of kernel of t plus dimension of image of t in this case it is a 4 equal to 2 plus 2 so altogether uh, thank you so much for being connected with me I am Dr. P. R. Ampioli signing off for this semester where I am very much thankful to Karnataka Law Society's management, all the concerned, all the authorities of our QLS Law Society and again thank you very much to e-shikshan and all the connected authorities, officers and uh, dignitaries of uh, VTU. Uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. See you. Bye.